that's because I have the unluckiest WRX on the internet. <laughs> Good morning. Now I bet you're wondering why I have my stock wheels out. Um, and that's because I have the unluckiest WRX on the internet. And I'm gonna try to take that bad luck and turn it into something good. Look, let me show you. Also, sorry if I look like a monster. It is currently May 6th. Barbershops have been closed for four weeks now. Uh, allergy season is kicking in and it's 8.30 in the morning. So I, but yeah, let's, let me show you what's up. Minivan. This is not the WRX, clearly. This is not the Asa we know. Now you might be wondering why the minivan is in the driveway and not Asa. That's because Asa is currently at the body shop again. So pretty much what happened was two Fridays ago, I was driving home from work. Now you should know that I was gonna give the WRX a break. The new wrap was done. The car looked amazing. I wanted to put less miles on the car because I was driving it like every other day to work and with the minivan I figured let's just take the minivan so I've been taking the minivan for a while that day happened to be my dad's day off so I took the WRX so he can take the minivan so he can drive my mom to and from work and that was the one day in spring that it snowed two Fridays ago I don't know what date that was but had no problem getting to work did my thing at work and I'm on the way home and I'm driving on the BQE which are, if you're from New York you know that that road it's pretty horrible in terms of drivers, the amount of drivers, and just stuff on the road, potholes, etc. And I figured since I'm on coils, I drive more cautiously than I ever have before. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take that road home, as I, as I usually do. So I'm driving home, and this minivan in front of me, guy was on his cell phone. I remember this like it was yesterday. Guy was on his cell phone, and he's driving, and he cuts a lane without signaling. And it turns out that in that lane, there was a wheel chalk. But not like a small wheel chalk, like a wheel chalk from a truck and he drove over it it like flipped under his undercarriage and launched into my lane which is weird because i was to the left now and he moved to the center lane and i was still in the left lane he somehow kicked that wheel chalk up from the center lane into the left lane and at that time i was going like 51 and he launched that thing back at like 20 miles an hour so it's a 70 mile per hour collision boom hit my bumper i figured okay it seemed like a rubber or plastic piece it couldn't have couldn't have done that much damage. I drive home, obviously upset, but you know, I was like, it shouldn't have done that much damage. I pull up to my driveway and you know how there's a bus stop in front of my house? I look in the reflection and I see, I see this huge black like line across my bumper and that's through my tint. And I was like, uh oh. So I get out of the car and I walk around and I see it. My front grill shattered, my bumper cracked, uh, my side skirt because it went under, it had a bend in it like it, it bowed out the the side skirt and it, it just ruined my day i was so so upset and just to think that was like what three weeks after the wrap got finished finished or something like that and it's just ah, very frustrating so i took it to the body shop and he said wow this must have taken quite the hit because once he took the bumper off the support bar for the bumper because there's like a little support thingy that was actually bent in too. So long story short, I took a wheel chalk to the bumper on the highway. Cars at the body shop, obviously the insurance, Geico, is being a pain. This car can't catch a break and I can't catch a break. I'm not crying, it's just the allergies. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. But yeah, this car can't catch a break and I can't catch a break because after the coils, I was good on spending money. I was like, all right, let me save up some money. So that way I can have a summer once everything opens up and I'll have money to spend. And then, and then, and then mother nature or whatever throws a wheel chalk in my face, quite literally. I feel the same way, Bo. I feel the same way. Now, 
I think the worst part about this whole situation is really the timing of it all. Then again, like there could have been worse timing, but this is really not ideal. I was actually in the middle of filming this sick like rap reveal official Asa 2.0 movie in the city and all that just because everything's in quarantine. The city is empty. It's perfect for filming. And I'm actually about like a third or let's say a half of the way done with it. And for this to happen now really, really sucks. One of my sponsors, Proclip, sent me out this new unit that I could put on to hold my phone and I was gonna do a review on that. And now that's on hold. And there's just so many things that have to be put on hold because of it. And then the weather's getting nice and I wanna be driving around with my car, with the new wrap and feeling good and enjoying the weather, but I can't because of this. And pretty much Geico's being really stingy as they always are, as you guys know from the last time I had to get my bumper repaired. Geico, give me my money. I paid it, I paid every month. The point of insurance is like, hey, here's my money. Make a little bit for yourself, but when I need it, let me get it. And then, no, it's not. Insurance is a scam. I'm gonna go swap out my wheel. Body shop. Let's go see Asa. <clears throat> so yeah, this is bent. This is bent in from the hip. You see the rust coming through. The side skirt is bent upwards because I drove over it. I miss you so much, Asa. Oh, I miss this so much. I'm driving around with no bumper because I gotta bring it around the block. Oh, I can still drive stick. Oh my god, I miss this. So much. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I miss it. Words cannot describe how much I miss this car. Oh my god. All right, we are back home. Work wheels are in the back, ready to be dropped off to get picked up for powder coating. I did take some spray paint with me because since the bumper was off, I figured I could uh, hit the PA system with some black spray paint because I noticed it was rusting a little bit. So I hit it with some black spray paint just to coat it, prevent any more rust. Um, and that's that, I guess. Um, I miss my f***ing car. Geico, step your game up. If I gotta die, I'm going like the greats. I don't plan it, but I live like it's today. Pop a quarter off a quarter and I'm straight. She got stab me when she came here anyway. If I gotta die, I'm gone like the guys. I don't plan it, but I live like it's today.